Hello there. Uh, welcome back. Um, I've just had a little break, refresh my cup of tea. Um, and you can see I, you haven't missed anything. I um, literally just left the game paused. Um, to, yeah. Take a little bit of a, 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 a break and uh, scoff another couple of street waffles to uh, muster up some energy to um, take us through the, the next set of encounters that I would like to do. So this is, um, well, I suppose it's going mostly solo episode 9. Uh, how the time flies when we're enjoying ourselves. Well, at least I am. Um, okay, so um, we killed those two pesky skeletons and we are in a fairly brand new area and hopefully around here will be the first encounter um, that we are going to have a look at this afternoon. Um, now, this is quite a potentially tricky encounter if um, you want to do this as a kind of like a just straight in ambush so I, I really want to make sure that um, I'm at full health and have my healing skill back um, because potentially if I don't quite get the entry into this uh, encounter quite right I'm going to be fighting a lot of enemies and as I mentioned, one of them is a particularly mad cleric. So um, he is going to be target number one and we'll worry about everything else. But first we have to rest um, and hope that we don't get jumped by ghouls or something awful. Okay, good. We, we managed to rest without being ambushed. So is a zombie and um, this is a, a little bit of an indication as to uh, the problem that this particular cleric has he's found himself a little henge <laughs> oh brother Therm why not grace our ears with the ripping tail of the old days <laughs> always a delight so he that, somehow he's managing to talk to me from the undiscovered shadows here um so basilus is a little bit on the mad side um he's worshipping a, a god called Cyric, who is kind of like the the god of death um and he's decided that all of these skeletons and zombies are his family and i'm about to wander into a case of mistaken identity so <laughs> yeah So yeah, he's, he's having a chat with his uh, zombie friend. So, mm, yeah. He, so, the uh, Zental Keep, the, the, the Zentarim are um, one of the kind of like really horrible groups of people. Um, evil clerics and the like um, in the Forgotten Realms setting of D&D. &D. Um, you don't, I think, in any of the games interact with them directly, but they 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 are they are mentioned quite a bit. So I'm gonna perhaps unwisely stick my nose in to see what this this dude is up to. So he 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 thinks I'm his dad. Um, uh, yeah, um, I'm only, like, in the game, I'm supposed to be, like, this 20-year-old upstart. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think you probably get more XP just by killing him, so, um, so, yeah, I will try and get him to fix the error of his ways oh, okay we so we've we've out we just aggroed the the 
entire area. Uh, that so that that's great. So there there he is. He has a plus two warhammer. Um, so the best warhammer in the game. Um, so I I really need to keep him at arm's reach. Um, because otherwise I'm 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 going to be electrified toast because it it does electrical damage as well. Um, so I've got lots and lots of people to uh, to uh, run away from. Um, so we're going to op open up um, with our preferred gambit of fireball the fuck out of everything. So. That's got a r rid of a lot of the trash mobs, but he he's barely been touched. Did he make his save? Uh, so yeah, he's he's only taken ten damage, um, and I probably haven't disrupted his. Yeah, he did. He saved, so he he he's going to cast something really horrible now um, that I will have great difficulty in. Um, actually um <clears throat> being able to survive um so that zombie was protected by the the things there so he fortunately he's slow but he's a problem <coughs> um i'm gonna need all the help i can get so I'm, I'm i'm gonna just see how we do with the plus two fire arrows and hopefully we can disrupt his spell casting um, because I, I don't have the potion of clarity or mind shielding or anything that would be um, useful in to kind of like protect me. So, okay. Oh, I actually made a save. Yeah, because rigid thinking means that I would completely lose control of my character. Um, and he would wander around doing what he thinks would be a good thing to do. So, um, I will try it hopefully get another arrow in because yeah I haven't actually fired at him yet so if I make sure I'm wearing the right belt because he it does crushing damage um, okay let's let's go a turn or two and see see what happens that is just perfect isn't it Okay, run away. <clears throat> so this homing hole person. <laughs> oh, of course the skeleton has a fucking bow rather than a... I'm, I'm, I mean, this, this whole person just lasts way too long for me to be able to survive being battered by this zombie, so let's try that again. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Luck, Miss Tamora, she, she really has it in for Harrison, doesn't she? I mean, talk about not being able to perform under pressure. Jeez, that critical miss at the really not a particularly good time. And getting that random skeleton was just the icing on the cake, wasn't it? So... Uh, hey, you know what? I think I'm actually going to pop that potion. Because... Why the heck not? Um, so that will make me hopefully very hard to hit. And if need be, I will take that as well. And I think two hours in the kind of like game time is like representative of something like six minutes or so. 
Okay. Oh, brother Therm, why not grace our ears with a ripping tale of the old days? <laughs> Always a delight. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, why? Let's let's pretend to be his dad. Okay. So. <laughs> That dialogue uh, also results in combat, clearly, um, but it, it means I've removed the problem of this zombie coming to bash my head in. Um, so, I'll still open with a fireball, um, just to you know, get rid of these trash mobs, because they are worth a little bit of experience. Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. I... Th so... Okay. So, he is still a bit of an issue. Um, I, I, they did turn after all, but we got rid of most of them. Did he... He made a save again, didn't he? Yeah. So, did even less damage than last time. Uh, okay. So, with a bit of luck, try and disrupt the spell casting because I'm I'm not going to be able to take him down with fireballs. P please tell me that I hit. Ah, excellent. Well, at least I've disrupted that spell. So hopefully this zombie can't hit me, at least not badly enough to um, cause me too many uh, health issues while I hope I can just keep disrupting his, his spells because if he gets that whole person in on me, I'm dead. That would be the uh, electricity damage. Okay, so that didn't work. Third time lucky? It will be done. Come on, Mr. Tamora, smile on me. You know what? Fuck this for a game of soldiers. Since since he's gonna attack me anyway. Ambush. So, did he make his save that time? No, because he's unprepared. You are not prepared. Another fireball. Oh, he's going to come for me now. Ooh. Okay. So didn't kill him. Did did he did Basilus? Oh, he made his save. Right now that we got rid of all the trash mobs and we just have one guy to worry about. Badly injured. <laughs> Worth all the fireball. So what, what what does that make now? Nine hundred gold. Ah, excellent. He failed his cast as well. So, let's... Um, he's still badly injured. It's not doing that much damage. Okay. Okay, I saved versus the spell and critical missed. Okay, I, I can live with that. That's that's the result. Hopefully he doesn't have another. I'll get. Maybe I just need to do all of these encounters three times. 
Alright. <sighs> okay. So he does hit hard. Um, uh, but he's, he's too fast to run away from. So. Do I want to use the strength potion to get a bonus to hit? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, because there are. Fucking skeletons. Right, you first. Gotcha, right. Now, hopefully my armor class is good enough to be able to melee these guys. 975 XP for that mad priest. So, worth it in the end. Critical miss again! I mean... Yeah. Am I actually even getting a bonus to hit? Yeah. I, I mean, a, to hit armor class 0 of 16 is nothing to write home about, but... They're only skeletons! Obviously hasn't been watching Sinbad. Okay, uh, so let's grab all the good gear. So I have a bloodstone amulet, the magical um, warhammer, um, the holy symbol of Bassus, um, which I need um, to hand in for the quest, and these gauntlets are cursed. So do not put them on. Um, do not. Uh, <laughs> Do not make the schoolboy error of uh, putting something on without knowing what it is. Oh, hello. Uh, but, um... Oh, okay. I'll just give him one arrow. <laughs> one damage. Come here. Skeletons belong in the ground. Thank you. So, it took three attempts, but in the end, um, not actually that bad. So, um, <laughs> where to go next? Right, um, well, since I've got these potions active, I might as well try and find these bandits. Um, again, I can't quite remember where they are exactly on the map. Who are you? Uh, uh -huh. Oh dear. How bizarre. Okay, we've got another half hour of running around the map to uh, look forward to, to, you know, sort this wolf out. I, I I desperately need to invest in some magical arrows. Oh, for God's sake! I I, I swear he's actually getting worse the the longer we play. The critical miss thing is catching because even the wolf is doing it. Wolf has a lot of hit points. He has a 
Get this thing. Tough old wolf. save. Don't want to be doing that again. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can find this little group of bandits. Um, the leader of Zargul, I think. He's a hobgoblin, I think. He's a member of this band called the Chill. Mercenary band, not a music band. That was probably probably obvious. Oh, a chicken with a name. Yeah, we will. Let let let's um say hello to this chicken. Oh yeah. I was he, and he's it's running away from a wolf. <laughs> so I, I think you have to kill the wolf before uh, he'll actually talk to you properly. Come on. This wolf has got at least 24 hit points. Just... So he's... Yeah. Okay. So. Yes, this chicken is not what he appears to be. Um, the next I'll be hearing Hamster speak is a, is a reference to Minsk and, and Boo, his... Miniature giant space hamster. Um, so, essentially, you, you can um, <laughs> take the piss out of him uh, a, a little bit. This bird is foul. Yes, wild foul, indeed. <laughs> so. <laughs> Which came first? <laughs> and on what side of the road did he start on? <laughs> Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Because if you... Oh, okay. I, I... I thought he was um, going going to... Ref refuse to be helped by me, which... Yeah. I, 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 I want his... Um, experience points for handing in his quest, so... I, I, I will apologise. And, yeah, it's like... I, 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 I will... Um, I'll take you to uh, High Hedge because I need to go back to Beragost anyway. So, well, okay. So jump, jump, jump into my pack, and there he is. Um, so let's pop that in there. Free up a slot. Um, so this bandit group um, does actually have um, uh, uh, some quite decent loot with it. I think one one of them has a short sword plus two, so um, it, they're, they're worth finding and bashing in the face. Um, and it will be a shame to waste the effect of, of these potions, so rather than rush to high hedge and and lose their effect while we're in transit between the areas. Oh, bandit. Uh, a few more scalps. Oh, and a ghoul. Yeah, you can... I'm more worried about the ghoul because he can do the hold, hold person thing.
Oh, you are still there. Alright. Alright, okay. Just retreat to a safe distance. And... Silver necklace, not exactly worth much, but... <laughs> the XP are good. Uh, let's see if we can find this um, bandit again. Uh, he's maybe wandered off. Okay, so just save while we uh, try and find him. Oh, there's Zargle. <laughs> yeah. You may, you, may, you may be strong, but I have a necklace that shoots fireballs. Do you have one of these? And actually, because he's quite tough, I'll sick a fire arrow on him as well. Oh, he's gone berserk, so I better get out of the way. Thanks for just wasting a magical arrow. Okay. Um, he's probably... He does have a better sword than me, but I do have a good armor class. Allegedly. We're in a critical miss competition again. Oh, he, oh, he hit me that time. I'm wearing the wrong belt again, aren't I? Is it... Whew. Come on! Oh. Man, you are just... Beyond useless. So there's that plus two sword I was talking about. And this is why it's good to have the gem bags, because I can just chuck things in here and my scroll case and not worry about worry about running out of um Inventory space quite so badly. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that arrow for fire arrow for now. But let's um, finish off this little band of hobgoblins because I can steal their arrows. And get poisoned! Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that was actually a, 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 a good deal for 165 experience. Um, but, oh yeah, he, he was actually a, a named enemy, I guess. So. Right, so I've, I've lost the potion of defense now, haven't I? Um, right. Oh, you're near death as well, so. I'll tell you what, since you're named, you can have this arrow. And I've missed with it, obviously. I'm gonna get poisoned again. I am not well at all. No, you're absolutely Okay. Come on, die. Right, now I can invest in um the potion. Good grief. That's a pearl. Oh, water star gem. That's still valuable. I'll take that. Thank you very much indeed. Um, and I have a few arrows. So, don't have to spend quite so much gold. <sighs> okay. Mm -mm. I'm just 
debating with my internal monologue um, whether I want to just head straight for Baragost. Um, yeah, I I think I'll I'll rest up there, um, hand in the uh, basilisks basilisk basilus not basilisk. We'll we'll be seeing some of those in a not too distant future actually. Um, okay. So, what's the betting we get waylaid by about six bandits on the way to uh, Baragost? You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. <laughs> right, so Aghast is a slightly chunkier version will be done. of a ghoul. Uh, maybe a bit quicker as well. Yeah, I think he can certainly take more damage. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm sure we're all getting a bit sick of this by now. Oh, for... No. I, I, I can't be bothered. You're not worth it. It will be done. Right. Home sweet home. Right, so I think the first port of call here has got to be, well actually I'm in no danger so actually I'll, I'll get those, um, these things all um, identified and I'll flock them. Um, and then, because I'm going to make a, a chunk of cash, I can, I can sell that armor and I actually get the um, the super sexy shadow armor that I I've been after since the beginning of the game. So, because after we've sorted out um, handing in the uh, holy symbol. Uh, there is somewhere that I would quite like to go where I'm going to need that armor. Not a problem. And if I have any um, any money left over, I will buy some magical arrows because yeah, I'm I'm not doing too well with the whole combat thing. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me. So sell, sell, sell. Okay, and then we identify the slot. So it's a little bit of a, you know, investment, but it will be worth it. Uh, apart from for these guys, because yeah, they are, you know, you don't want to be wearing those. <laughs> though, though, ha having actually said that. You know, given, given my track record in, in combat, act, actually, um, <laughs> they, 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 these might actually improve things, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take the risk. Come on. Yeah. Okay, but there's that warhammer. Um, very, very handy indeed um, for a cleric. Um, so I am going to sell it because, you know, money. Um, that needs to be handed in that yeah I'm keeping for now the chicken will go to high hedge mm, yeah maybe after I've handed in um, the the symbol anyway I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more. so I can't sell that Chicken's worth 50 gold pieces. So make a little profit on that. Make a big profit on that and that. Bit of a loss on that. But yeah, it, it's, it's worth spending the gold to, you know, show you really don't want to put these things on. So I make 3,651 gold. And I might 
depending on whether my reputation is high enough, I do get a little bit of a discount. But before I spend that money, I may be able to get a little bit more of a discount because I looked up where to hand these in so we can just go straight into the uh, correct houses this time and get the quests and I think one of them if not both of them has a um, reputation bonus uh, yeah just the one and the but this one uh, Miriam, where are you Hello, there you are. So. Salutations. Mm hmm. Da 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 da. Yes. Okay. So she's actually going to give me. Um, hmm. So. I've gained a ring and 300 experience points. And the ring. If I. Is a. Um, ring of. Uh, princes. So. I. Not going to identify it, and I'm not actually going to sell it because if I ever do re recruit people, um, it's quite handy to have a, a ring plus one that you know you don't actually need to buy. So that that's quite a nice. Quite a nice little quest reward. Um, and if you get that really early in the game. Um, you know, you, you can effectively get two ring plus ones for free for your party. You know, within the first couple of hours if you, you know, do it in the, the correct order. Um, so, this is the house for the amulet. So, have a chat with the butler. Hey, get out of me way, you crummy loghead. Oh, hush. Alright, there he is. Mr. Colcat. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good, good not to extort him. Um, just let him have it. So I do get a reputation gain and a, couple, a, a few XP. So. Gives me reputation 16, does that, and that's actually given me a slightly better reaction. So I Not a problem. might get a little bit more of a discount on that um, set of armor now. So even, even though my charisma is desperately average, being a very heroic exponent of, of running away in combat um, <laughs> it has allowed me to uh, you know get a little bit of a a little bit of a uh, a preferred customer discount so yeah it's taken yeah, 800 gold off so that will actually leave me with a little bit of gold to play with um, and of course I don't need two sets of armor so that gives me armor class zero without even using um, you know the buckler so negative armor class is is good so and the more ne negative the better so I will sell that and invest in some arrows. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more. And so I get 2k back. Um, so I am going to need a few more normal arrows. So that was so that should top up that stack. And I will get some plus one I arrows. You wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Where are you? Yeah, down, down, down. 
Okay, so so eighty in a stack. Uh, so I need eight of them at a cost of one thousand. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? I will get another stack as well and keep them in reserve. Um, and I've still got enough gold for sundries. So that can go in there for special occasions and that can stay there. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Next port of call is an inn so that I can rest up and get some hit points back. Then what I'll do is quickly swing by um, High Hedge and show you that um, because I'm not wandering around the Sword Coast with a chicken, especially a talking one, for any longer than I really need to. With ease. Alright. And while we are here... We'll get rid of some of this junk as well. is full you can tell because it's gone dark um, so I'll, I'll flog this lot and probably get rid of the I won't get rid of the spells here actually um, because I might get a better price from I can sell the chicken <laughs> Again, I won't sell this potion here because the Melon Camp's um, master may actually give me a better price for it. Um, okay, so have a nice rest. I think we deserve some luxury. There we are. 32 hours in bed. Right. It will be done. Um, oh yeah. If you take a close look, how nice is that armor, huh? So the 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 purple pants are, you know, made for a disco rather than sneaking around being a thief, but. But yeah, if I just take a quick look at my my stats, they, yeah, these these move silently, hide in shadow stats are looking quite quite healthy now. Um, so yeah, we we we're doing okay. Um, long way to go to the next level, but we do have a, a quite an amusing quest to hand in. Um, okay, but. Before I actually go into the um, wizard's house, um, there is one thing that I do need to do. Um, and I need to spawn a random encounter. That's a, a Kivan. He's a elven ranger type. Um, who, you know, he will help you fight the bandits, and he's, he's a pretty good uh, companion. So, um, I'm going to ignore him, obviously. But, around here somewhere, we should find a group of, um, skeletons. And, since he probably has friends, I might try and, um, take him down with with arrows 
Oh, of course. So actually, just moving into range is just aggroed the the other guy. <sighs> Again, not worth a fireball. Uh, I need to save those for where I go after I hand in the uh, the symbol. Um, uh, okay, there's only two of them. Okay, that's that's okay. I can live with that. But I don't want to take too much piercing damage from these guys lobbing darts. Oh no, uh, actual throwing knives. Okay, so I need one of these skulls. Um, you'll see why um, in... I was going to say a minute, but you never know with this guy how long it's going to take to kill kill anybody, so... In, 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 a, in a trice, in a moment. There we are. Okay. That silence you hear is exasperation because I'm I'm getting a bit sick of gnolls now. And I'm sure you are as well. We're gonna fight something a little bit more interesting. And of course there's fucking three of them. That's what you get for not re-equipping your ranged weapon, Ian. Yeah, because you can't trust Harrison to do it. <sighs> I'm just plotting my escape route. Okay. Because... Right. So, run away, run away. Um, of course, that potential companion is not going to do a bloody thing. He's 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 not like uh, our good friend Mr. Doe Erden, who would uh, you know step in and help out a traveller. You know what? I really can't be bothered with this. Right, so before I actually enter the, uh, I'll take a pot shot at him. Okay, so before I actually enter here, um, you do need to be really careful in high hedge because um, the mage likes his privacy. Have we got another one? Oh, it's a fucking flint as well. No, go away. I'm just not interested anymore. Um, he has two flesh golems, and or golems, however you like prefer to pronounce them, and uh, they need magical weapons to be killed. Um, and while he does have magical weapons, he is not up to the job of killing both of these flesh golems, and they are instantly hostile. They 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 they, they don't wait for you to uh, you know introduce yourself. They they will just go straight for you. So um, it, I'm just going to go straight into the uh, the mage's chamber. Uh, so yeah, let me in. See you later. It will be done. <laughs> <laughs> now I wonder. The, the flesh golems will not fight the flint, will they? Um, and I, 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 I doubt our, our magey friend will either. Oh. oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? What did I do to, to deserve this? Honestly. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot the flins could... Um, the ambulatory doggies could 
actually You know what? I am not well oh, for goodness sake. What on earth am I supposed to do? Sorry, mate. It's just as well this guy actually sells health potions, isn't it? Are you just going to stand there doing nothing? Right. I really don't want to waste plus one arrows on moles. It's bad enough that I had to Spam a fireball. Right, you first. This is your. Critical mess, really? Yeah, you. Good grief. Mm. Well, I suppose it's worth it in the end. Um, because you know how we have these things to manage. Um, store scrolls and, uh, and gems. Um, this wonderful gentleman this crotchety old mage um, as well as being able to buy and sell um, scrolls and uh, potions from him and it, I think he does magical um, ammunition as well um, he has a, a little potion case so if you end up with a, a stack of potions you, you can actually just store them in one slot during just like these it, it just tidies up your inventory management so huh. okay let's uh, introduce ourselves to uh, Thalantir here I be Thalantir a mighty mage of Baragost no I, I probably couldn't uh I'm going to pass to you again, though. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Apparently, he doesn't like Baragos. Um, apologies, I'm eating a street waffle. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm actually quite intelligent. Yeah. Yes, that's a nice line, especially if you've uh, been in the teaching profession like I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, he um, I shouldn't talk in my mouthful. How how crude! I'm so sorry. Um. So yeah, a mages or mage students who take shortcuts very rarely ends well for them. <laughs> so I I I like this quest. It's it's quite amusing. So, 
And this is why I uh, picked up the skull. <laughs> why do I live in such a pissant town? Ah. So there is a chance that he may not actually recover. Um, yeah. So he, he he was lucky enough to survive this time. So, nice big chunk of XP and um, another reputation increase. So, am I? Am I? Oh, I am. I'm heroic. Heroic at running away. Um, so, while I'm here. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Here we go. So, now you've done him a favour. Um, or, well, done Melvin Camp a favour. He will actually... Uh, deal with you so I can I can sell all of those things that I, I can't use and yeah we have lots and lots of magical items that we that we can buy but I'm a little short on money. What I'm really after predictably all the bloody potions of healing I will take the elixir of health as well. Um, these potions of explosions are absolutely epic. They're, they're really good. A um, little bit like my um, necklace of missiles. So I'll buy those and there should be a potion case. And then... Uh, okay, so I can't do anything with these, on, well, yet. Until I... Uh, Dual to, dual to mage, um, but this isn't the kind of protection scroll that I am after. I am going to need um, a slightly different one. Uh, yes, and I have to have to make sure I go and collect it before uh, before I go to the uh, next. Well, the next area. But one. Okay, so uh, any other ones I want? Hmm. Yeah, that that's quite useful, but it is also very expensive. So I might might, might come back for that um, because yeah, I I don't I don't have much left in the. Uh, in the uh, gold department okay so i think there's still stuff in here isn't there yeah i can i he he probably won't buy it though so i'll i'll need to go back to town um and before we head off um it will be done so before we head off to uh, the hills on the other side of Baragost, um, I'm going to need to take a swing by the carnival because there's a there's something I need there. A scroll that will prove very useful indeed. But th there's nothing else really in this particular area that, that we need to do. It's it's for side quests only and I and I've got the the items that you know I wanted so um right okay so we will head straight to the carnival no doubt being waylaid along the way because that's just our luck oh no ah but we do have to wander through this undiscovered area which means I will quick save because we're probably going to be beset by cobbles. It will be done. You know, those dangerous 
little demons that are worth a whole seven experience points each. Now I'm I'm after some rather larger prey. But I will rest first. But before that, this way, good sir, over here. Oh, shut up, Zeke. It will be done. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Right. So, um, oh, good, I get a discount. I think I may actually buy that, and I'm definitely going to get that because that's that's really what I'm here for. Um. So, yeah, I'm I'm now pretty much out of money, <laughs> hundred gold, um, but that's okay. I I I have everything uh, that I that I want um, for this little excursion, um, apart from all of my hit points, clearly. Um, but we will we will recover those. By wandering over to this campfire and having a bit of a nap, and then I can tell you where we're going to go next. Um, right, I'm keeping an eye on the time because I'm going to have to stop in about the next 20 minutes or so. Um, so we may not make it to the well we'll may make it to the area that I'm, i want to go but I, I think i'll finish this video when we uh when we get to the temple by beragost um uh yeah this is the nearest edge of the map i might not be able to get an area tra oh i can go do an area transition that's fine so yeah, so there's a, another area down here that we, we could visit, but that's that's not what I am uh, interested in right now. So back to Baragos, then we're going to head east um, because there's a there's a temple just outside of Baragos where I, I need to hand in that symbol. I didn't get waylaid. What's going on? Not a problem. Okay, so... So here's the temple, literally next door to the to the town, and with ease. This area is more dangerous than you might think, and the further east you go, the more dangerous it gets. So I will. I'm. I'm glad I'm fully kitted up, um, because this is uh, ah. Where are we? Where's the temple? It's here. I thought that was the priest quarters, but that's further north. So, yeah. Song of the Morning Temple. Um, Not a problem. So these uh, singing sirens. Um, fortunately, non-hostile, because these guys. Um, if they are hostile, they will try and dire charm you, um, which, if you're on your own, is instant game over. Um, if you're feeling particularly evil, you can you know, just try and you can actually try and kill them. Um, but they, well, they do come with a, a lot of experience points. They're really quite tough, um, so not really worth it in in the middle of a, you know. A holy temple because there there are four of them and so like yeah just not happening but welcome the traveling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothander. yes it was a very difficult battle it took me three attempts your service yours as a service will not soon be forgotten and have a reward so five thousand gold 
Thank you very much indeed. Uh, that's very handy. And I get 1000 XP as well. Still, yeah, quite a way to the next um, next level, but I have a plan for that. Um, actually, yeah, I, I I think it's probably worth actually uh, ending the video here um, because it's 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 a nice it's, it's a it's a good place. I I, I think just to. Uh, just to take a, a little bit of a pause and the next time you see me um, we are going to do something spectacularly dangerous um, so <laughs> especially for a, um, a thief who's as crap as Harrison is so I'll tell you all about that at the beginning of the next video and um, again thank you for watching hope you're uh, having as much fun as I am and I will see you for another video very soon